Local residents help out the Chambury Child Abuse Care Center. Hi everybody, I'm Adam and you're listening to TPN Media. Now we want to take a moment to tell you guys a good story. Although times are difficult with COVID-19 having closed many businesses and causing a lot of tragedy and personal devastation in and around Thailand once again with the third round of infections, many people are still going ahead and stepping up and helping those in need. The video that you're watching shows local businessmen as well as some Chonburi politicians going to visit the Chonburi Child Abuse Care Center, uh, which has children from six years old to about 18 from homes and backgrounds that have suffered child abuse or dangerous situations. Now, a lot of people during COVID-19 think about closed businesses, uh, which is, of course, the face of closures, especially here in Pattaya. People think about bars or entertainment venues, but there's so much more and so much more affected. Many of of, if not almost all of the nonprofit and the charity organizations also struggle during COVID-19. Obviously, they're not forced closed, but because they're not getting many donations from business owners, from residents who are struggling with money and others, also many of them rely uh, not just the Child Abuse Care Center, but many of them rely on donations from people from overseas, from tourists who come and visit places, uh, also like the Father Ray Foundation or Bon Kruja. And because these local uh, charities don't have those foreigners coming to visit or even domestic tourists because of fear of COVID-19 and restrictions in some provinces, as a result, these charities struggle and they struggle to support the children or the residents or the causes that they go ahead and go for. So according to the Chambury Child Abuse Care Center spokeswoman, they were very thankful for the donations, which were basically things like food, medical support, supplies, snacks for the kids, etc. You'll notice in the video the kids aren't present. Uh, that's for a couple reasons. Uh, we don't normally film uh, children at these centers, but number two, is that because of COVID-19 precautions, many of them are being protected or shielded. And that's also a big reason why many of these places are not getting as many donations because some of them would allow visits and visits to those inside, but that's currently forbidden. That being said, we hope you guys are staying safe and we'll continue to keep you updated. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, like, and follow us on our social media channels. Have a great weekend.